Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's tip is fairly unexciting, but it's on the len function. So let's see how the len function works. So if I type equals len and len of this, it returns four. So that means that this value here has four characters in it. Let's see what happens if we do this one. So the len of that, it's a function today and it returns 24th of March. The len of that is five. Why is that, you say? Because if you calculate how many um, characters there are in there, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine characters. Okay, what it's actually doing is it's calculating the len of the number that the date represents. That's a whole new topic, but if you format your date as a, as a number, that has five characters and that's what this is calculating. Let's have a look at what happens if we calculate the len of the now function that is formatted as a date. So all we've done here is we've entered the now function and then we've gone format cells uh, and then formatted it as a date. And what we can see is it doesn't matter what the format is, it still returns 16. So we can do the same trick that we did last time, press control shift hash, and that converts it into a number, increase the width, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven are displayed. But if you go into here, press F9, you actually get 16. So there's a couple of things that are going on there. Let's have a look. So again it's just displaying the numerical version of the now function. Let's have a look here. So this is len of that. Well in this case what we've got is 4000 that we've entered and we formatted that as currency. So again currency formatting doesn't change the return of the len function. Let's have a look at this one. This is len of that. Well we said that Formatting doesn't change the return of the len function, but in here we've got eight, but we can only see three entries here, six, nine, nine. But what this actually is, I've copied and pasted this from the internet, and it seems that what's happened is it's got an extra character here. So it doesn't actually, Excel's not recognizing that as a number. And uh, it's just returning eight, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It thinks the whole thing is a string. So if we were to remove the extra character, it should recognize that immediately and return three. So let's have a look what happens in this case. Equals Nick entered as a formula. So again, the len function returns the number of characters of the value of that. For an error, it just returns the error. Fairly unexciting. And for this function call here, nick equals Excel expert. Unfortunately, that returns false, which is a bit of a shame for me. And uh, that returns five. So welcome to the len function. There are other uses and we'll see those later. Thanks very much. You've been listening to excelexperts.com.